We're going to get this show on the road. We're going to do a supine check-in. We're going to be laying on the ground. We're going to check in with the body, add a little abdominal massage, a little breathing. From there, we're going to stand up uh, and do our warm-up series, which will involve some movement massage um, and some shaking it out. From there, we're going to do nine different movement sequences. Each will be 90 seconds long. And then remember that as we go through our movement today, you guys could add whatever you want to the mix. You know, add your little artistic flair, um, add whatever little micronutrient you need. Um, and the micronutrients are based on what your body tells you it needs. So those are the things that you want to consider as we're moving today. Okay. All right. And then, well, at the very end, we'll do a gentle cool down as well. Okay. So we're going to warm up, cool down, and have some fun. As you know, all these sessions are completely unique. Um, they have similar movement patterns, but they are put together totally, uh, totally unique every time. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So let's start on the ground. We're going to do a supine check-in. So as you're moving to the ground, if you're not there already, move very mindfully and take your time. Feel the body as you're going into that position of laying on your back. Once you get onto your back, just start to turn your attention inside. Breathe in, breathe out. Exhaling very slow like you're blowing through a straw. You can sense some gentle waves of movement through the lower spine by contracting each one of your glutes alternately. Just surrender any unnecessary tension. You can place your uh, hands on the ground, palms facing the ceiling, opening up the chest, just letting gravity do its thing, celebrating gravity, while at the same time feeling a sense of lightness through the body. Imagine that your bones are floating in your skin. Okay, so at the level of your bones, I want you to take your attention into your bones and I want you to imagine your bones are beautiful and vibrant and emanating this incredible frequency and vibration of power. Okay. From here, slowly, gently, easily, we're going to take our hands onto our abdomen, just some gentle abdominal massage. Just notice what you feel. Just walk your fingers around. We're not going to spend too much time in this position, but just give yourself a moment to take two nice cleansing breaths, breathing in, breathing out, extra slow like you're blowing through a straw. Give yourself one more breath wherever you are. Exhale nice and slow. Let's go ahead and come to an upright standing position, guys. So rock yourself up. Come to standing. We're going to start with some gentle hopping. So let's go ahead on the balls of the feet. Just kind of shake out the arms, shake out the legs. It's a great way to move the energy in the body. Great way to move the fluids in the body. Just give yourself a nice little side to side boxer shuffle. That seems weird, just bounce straight up and down. That's cool too. All right, so from here, we're gonna take our hands, one hand on the front, one hand on the back, just massage down one leg and come up and then do the other leg. So we're just massaging front side, back side of the leg. Let's do that roughly five times each leg. Take a step out in front. Nice and easy, nice and smooth. Really good. From here, let's massage in the abdomen. We're gonna have one hand in the front, one hand in the back. You can take your hips from side to side. You see my hips are going side to side. Okay, nice and easy. Now from here, you're gonna take your hands on one side 
laterally flex your spine and massage through the side of your body just like this. Just five times. Switch sides. Just notice what you feel. Massaging. You can add a little squeezing if you like. Massage, massage, massage. Okay. From here, you can stay standing, but take your one hand behind the head, massaging into the rib cage and up into the armpit. From here, take that stroke down into the arm. So massage like the shower. Massage the top side, the underside. Just kind of move the shoulder around a little bit, switch sides. Okay, so you're taking your hand behind your neck, massage into the rib cage and up into the armpit. Doesn't matter how you're doing it, just massage yourself. <laughs> Getting some fluids moving, okay? Down into the arm. Okay, and then last but not least, let's get into the face and the neck and the scalp. So our last spot. Okay, we're gonna move into our first movement series this morning. We're gonna do a standing forward fold to a deep kneel tap or a knee tap. All right, so let's go ahead. If you're not standing still, stand up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hinge forward at the waist forward fold, bend your knees, come into deep squat, deep kneel, and then tap the toes on the ground. Drop those or pull those knees up off the ground. Drop the weight back. Come to standing. Add a little bounce. Okay, so hinge forward at the waist. Come down into squat. Tap the knees on the ground. Come right back out of it. Add a hop. Okay, so hinge, lower, tap, come out. Hop it out. Okay, so hinge. Lower, tap, come up. So use your hands as much as you need to this morning. You know, if you could do this whole little thing without using your hands, great. If you need to use your hands or if you even want to add a little bit of massage while you're going through it, feel free. Last time, come down. Shake it out, actually. Let's get one more in there. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Our next movement is going to be an alternating lunge. So we're going to step back into a lunge with a rotational trunk reach. Okay, so it looks like this. I'm standing with my feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to step back into a lunge. I'm going to reach behind. I can reach the other direction as well. And then I'm going to come right back into standing. Switch sides. So I step back. Reach, reach, come back, step back, reach, reach, come back. You guys get the idea. Now you can always add to your reach. You can reach back and you can also reach up. So reach in whatever direction feels most appropriate for you. I can reach low. I can touch the back of my leg. The thing is, is that I want you to add some rotational trunk reach or trunk rotation in your reach. Okay. The back, nice, stable base of support. Reach, reach. Step back, reach, reach, reach. However you like reach i can even reach with both hands if i want reach reach it out nice and easy okay so our next movement is going to be some rocking get-ups so let's walk through this movement together so we're standing we're going to squat down we're going to lower our caboose to the ground, rock back, and use the momentum of our arms and legs to come right back up. So we're going to go here and come right back to squat. Now, if this is difficult for you, you can use a figure four um, position. So I can make my legs into a figure four, use my hand to come up into my squat, and then stand up. 
Okay, so we're lowering down rock and use that momentum to come right back up. You can add some hops. Okay, remember, use whatever variation is appropriate for you. If you need to use the figure four variation with the hands, awesome. We're just transitioning from a standing to a supine, back to standing position. It's a great way to warm up, get your circulation moving, and change the position on your mat in your room, wherever you are. Rock it back, and right back up. Okay, let's go to back into our standing forward fold, knee tap, okay? So this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the power pose. So your arms are gonna come out to the side, opening up the chest, breathing in. As you exhale, hinge forward at the waist, forward fold, and continue lowering yourself down to get that nice knee tap and then come right back out of it. Breathing in as the arms float out to the side. Exhale, hinging forward at the waist, forward fold. Get that nice knee tap. Come out of it. Okay, so this is where you get to have a little fun with it. Add whatever little micro movements you like along the way. Perhaps you wanna take your knees out to the side, closer together. Take the arms out of it, whatever you want to do. Perhaps you even want to add more of a wave motion. So I can come down over here, tap. I can put my hands behind and I can open up my chest, kind of press through the posterior hip, get myself into a nice open position in the front. And then always return to that real loose shake out. Okay, so when you're in these different positions, pay attention to the micro movements. It's all about being smooth. and feeling and celebrating the movement. If you feel good, give some thanks. Ah, I'm so glad. If I feel some discomfort, I'm still giving thanks because that's my body's way of saying, hey, whoa, dial it down, tune it up, you know, pay some attention. Okay, so right back to our step back, reach. This time, if you want, you can lower one knee to the ground and then do your reach. I can also touch my back heel. I'm back to standing. So I'm lunging and reaching. Whichever position you choose, I want you to really develop your relationship with your feet and the ground. Let yourself feel stable from the ground up. Imagine maybe somebody's going to try to shake you from your position or knock you over. You're staying nice and unified throughout your whole body. Breathing deeply and expansively through the whole process. You can always add little variations. And if at any time through the movement, you feel yourself holding your breath, that's a good sign that you want to pause and hang out there and then integrate the breath work or breathe into that position that you feel prone to hold it. For me, it's when I get into these rotational positions. That's when I find myself going, ah. so that's when I want to breathe into that. And step out into different positions, reach, 
reach, reach. And it doesn't have to be the same movement every time. The idea is just to get yourself that nice, powerful lunge with a rotational reach. Okay, standing to rocking get ups. For standing, lower down slow. You can add the hand slap, kind of like a break fall. You can also, as you rock back, you can straighten one leg and keep one leg bent and then come forward that way as well. Always return into that hopping dynamic. So I can rock one leg straight, one leg bent, and then I can move myself over my legs that way. So lower down. Whatever way you want to twist it or make it, that's up to you. Rock it. Use your hand to whatever degree necessary. Come up nice and light the whole time. Nice and fluid. Walk it out. Feel the ground. Spread those toes wide. When you're ready, get it. Add whatever variations you want, guys. You want to add a hip pulse? Get it. You want to add a full on rollover? Get it. The rocking is the main part of this movement, and then getting up is the second part. Okay? All right. Last time in our forward fold knee taps. So again, get it with your, whatever position feels most appropriate for you. Hinge, tap, back, bounce it out. Breathe in, forward fold, knee tap. Long through the spine, pressing through the crown of the head. Remember, linger into any one of the positions that you want to explore a little bit further. It's always returning to that nice, bouncy dynamic. Nice and smooth. Nice and relaxed. When I take that deep breath in, I want to take the breath all the way to the bottom of my pelvic bowl. So as I'm breathing in, I'm not just expanding the front side of my chest. I'm expanding down below. So I'm feeling sensations, front side, back side, all the way around. The whole body is involved. Whatever you're feeling the most, like whatever body part, I want you to expand your attention to other parts. Bring some attention to other sensations that you wouldn't or aren't normally feeling. Okay, almost done with this one, guys. 17 seconds. And even add a reach. I'm sure you guys are doing something totally different other than I am, and that's awesome. Okay. Step back, lunge, trunk rotation. So step back. Reach. 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 Come out. Step. Reach, reach. So remember, make it yours. Make sure that you're focusing on really grabbing into the ground with those feet. Constantly wearing shoes all the time, so you really want to explore and develop your awareness of your lower extremities. We're going to be doing a lot of movements where we're going to be putting pressure into the wrists. So I want to invite you as you're going through your reaching to actually start playing around with wrist movements, getting some nice, gentle, fluid, wave-like motions in the wrists, preparing those wrists for more pressure. 
There's always a million ways to do these movements. So really, really develop your attention. Put your attention into what's happening in the ground and then add to that. And add a little pop, change your lunge. It's on you. Want to dial it up? Dial it up. It's up to you. Hey guys, last set of rocking get ups. Okay, so when you're ready, get yourself nice and loose, rock it out, boom, you're right back up. I want your body loose. As you go through these motions, I want your body loose, nice and fluid. Play around with different hand positions as you rock back. You know, catch that head. And if you want to play with that rollover, feel free. Press those hips up, whatever you like. <laughs> Sorry about that. Coming out there. Breathe in, breathe out. So keep yourself relaxed as you're flowing through these movements. So even though the heart rate's starting to, you know, starting to increase, I want you to put your attention into that breathing and control the breath. Maybe even throw a smile on your face, see how that works. Bam! Kick it up and out. Remember, add whatever other movements you want to make this yours. There's no reason why we can't use some flamboyant arm movements. I know you dancers are really probably doing a fantastic job. There's something sharp on my man. And that's what I want to do. Add your own little unique thing. Okay, guys, let's come on down to the ground. Our first movement in this next series is a knee hand crawl um, to alternating side sit. So let's come to a knee hand position. So on hands and knees, and you're going to find yourself in a good position first. Your spine is long, belly button drawn towards the spine, so your core is contracted. We're gonna first just start by bringing our body weight forward and back, just very gentle start to mobilize the wrist start put a little bit more pressure in there when you're ready take the knees up off the ground and what we're going to do is we're going to bring one knee in between the arms and we're going to come into side sit and come right back out of it so i'm in knee hand crawl i bring a knee forward into side sit and then i come right back out of it okay so i bring it forward sit down maybe even take the arms and hands off the ground, come right back to it. Okay, if you wanna do a throw a swivel in there, feel free. So I'm here, I can swivel, and then I'm just taking whatever knee is in front, I'm putting my hands on either side, and then I use my body as a whole to get myself into this strong knee hand position. Nice and easy. Okay, from here, we're going to go into some deep squat variations. So come down into your deep squat. And remember, there's always variations. You know, you can, if this, if a deep squat is not accessible, then take the heels up off the ground. Get yourself into whatever position is, is most productive for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of squat walking. 
So this is a slow movement where we're mining the sensations deep inside the hip joint. So you're slowly walking around your environment in your deep squat, shifting your weight from side to side, spreading those toes wide, and using the deep squat as your set point, and then moving around that. So this is really good for massaging and strengthening the feet. And you're, you can spread those toes wide, pressing the toes into the ground, continuously returning into that deep squat. We wanna really focus on kind of getting a nice little crunch of the body here, flexing the hips, dorsiflexing the ankles, moving through plantar flexion of the ankles as we come up, Bring yourself around. All right, so from here, we're gonna switch it up a little bit and we're gonna do some prone swimming. Go ahead and find yourself on the stomach, nice and easy. Once you're on your stomach, we're gonna start with a little bit of breast stroke. So you're gonna contract your glutes first and then reach with your arms out in front of the body and we're gonna do some beautiful breath stroke here. So we're swimming in our room and really focusing on the quality of movement. From here, we're gonna do a single arm, I don't know, swing, I guess you might wanna call this. Now, if you can keep the other hand off the ground while you do this, Fantastic. This is working the, the back muscles, posterior shoulder muscles. This is kind of like a side stroke. So Rick, make sure that you're breathing through this movement. You can go back into your breath stroke. If you're really fatigued, take your hands down by the sides and just use those powerful back muscles to keep your chest up off the ground. Okay, when you breathe, breathe into the bottom of your pelvic bowl. So you're not just breathing into the chest, you're also breathing into your hip bones. Okay. So moving. Remember, we're doing those movements where we're on our wrists. So see if you can add some nice gentle wrist movements. And then when you're ready, you can lay your forearms on the ground, just kind of chill for a second. And we're going, to go, we're going to go right back into our knee hand crawl, alternating side sit. So take your hands down by your ribs, press yourself back into knee hand crawl, curl those toes underneath, flex those, flex those feet, take the knees up off the ground, bring one knee forward, side sit, switch sides. Play around with different positions. Perhaps you want to throw yourself into a down dog and then bring the leg forward, side sit. So your baseline movements, there's two of them. You have knee hand crawl and side sit. Whatever you wanna to add to that, that's up to you. Maybe I wanna take one hand out of it so that as I'm bringing my leg forward, I'm using the stability of my shoulder to just kind of bring me into this position and then bring me out. Just play around with these different movements. These crawling patterns are fantastic for creating strength through the shoulders. Always spread the fingers wide, pressing through the finger pads, not just the wrist. Breathe as you go. Now get creative with it. Let's say for example, I want to bring one leg out like a fakie, like, oh, I was going to do that. Now I'm not. So I was going to do this. Now I'm not. Bring it there. Perhaps add a shoulder pulse. Add some extension through the cervical spine, looking around through your environment. Perhaps add a hop. Whatever you want, make it yours. 
Okay, so from here, we're going back into our deep squat variations. So from your side sit, press yourself into deep squat. Now, what we can also do is we can play around with lowering one hand down into side sit, press yourself into deep squat. This is a deep squat variation, right? So you can do whatever deep squat variation you want. Control the breathing, breathing nice and slow every time. Play around with different positions. Drop one knee across or one knee down towards the ground. Get yourself into this flexion of the knee, flexion of the hip, flexion, dorsiflexion of the ankle. That's what we're doing and playing around with. Staying nice and low. Always so many different ways that you can do it. Have some fun. Explore and enjoy the movement. Always so many ways to do it. You saw that. I just whipped my foot around. Right behind, coming into my deep squat here. I mean, there's just so many ways to have fun with this one. Remember, squat is a resting position. So while you guys are working it, just hear me when I say, spend a lot of time in the squat every day. Great way to open up the low back. Great way to massage your intestines to get things moving in the right way. All right, back down onto our stomach for some prone swimming. So hop those knees back, feet back, lower down. So this time you got whatever variation you want. Perhaps you want to put one hand on the ground, pressing it in, and just take one hand through the motion. Perhaps you want to reach a little bit further up towards the ceiling, really opening up through the rib cage. Use whatever variation works for you. Breathe deeply and expansively. This is kind of like our uh, recovery movement. It's not as difficult, maybe. And maybe it is. Maybe this one's really difficult for you. And that's okay. Pay attention to the sensation of the scapula along the back side of the body as you're bringing your arm through that circumduction. Pay attention to the sensations that you feel but stability in the scapulothoracic joint, that's the, how the scapula articulates on the ribs, so important. That tends to be one of the main reasons why people develop shoulder injuries is because they are unstable, hypomobile, meaning not so mobile, in that scapulothoracic joint. So we're just opening and strengthening as we go. Use whatever variations you want. Get those arms moving. I know you guys got to be having a good time. All right, right back into knee hand crawl. Two side sit. So remember guys, you want to dial it up, dial it up. Increase the speed, increase the range of motion, and increase the creativity if there was such a thing. If you want to dial it down, you want to slow it down, really pay attention to the, the motions. Let's say you're nursing an old injury. Slow it down. Pay attention to what you feel. When you're in the different positions, pay attention to what's happening in the core of your body. Make sure those shoulders are stable through the whole movement. Make sure that spine is open and relaxed through the whole movement. I'm telling you, these movement practices are going to get more and more fun as we go along through life. I'm just like you. I'm on a, I'm a spirit having a human experience. Learning. We're here to learn, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. 
add whatever variations you like, guys. Make it yours. Every time, nice and strong. You want to add a little crawling for the environment? Feel free. Oh, knee hand or foot hand crawl. Never hurt anybody. That might not be true. But anyways, you won't hurt yourself because you know to honor yourself. Okay. So back into our deep squat variations. Okay, so again, you got deep squat. Lower your one hand to the ground. Make it fluid and smooth the whole time. No reason why you can't make this movement into something that I'm not even doing. As long as you're using the baseline suggestion, which is that this is a deep squat variation, any movement that takes you through the deep squat, I'm cool with that. Deep squats are so good for really getting those hips to respond to different positions where we're holding body weight. Take some time to get those wrists mobilized into the ground. Enjoy your movement practice, friends. Maybe add a little lateral shuffle crawl. Make it as intense as you like. Maybe a little bit of the old pattern show up of the knee hand crawl, side sit transition, whatever you want. Maybe some hops, maybe some inverted crawl, maybe some hip movement here. I don't know about you, but this feels good. Feels good to mix it up and not, and to get outside the box. Okay, um, last prone swimming. So let's go ahead on our stomachs. Maybe spread those fingers wide. Maybe put them close together. Maybe to put the, put the thumbs towards the ceiling. Get some pulse action rolling here. Once you find yourself in that mindset of a box where it's supposed to look like this or that, that's a cue to get out. Break out of that box. Let your body express itself. Give your body an opportunity to show you what it needs. When you need a break, take a break. There's no rules. Some days you're feeling it. Some days you need a little bit more of a, you know, of a kind or self-compassionate emphasis. Self-compassion should always be present in our expressions of movement in life, but sometimes you need a little more of that. Play around with the movements, guys. Notice how it feels. You can even add some variations with the leg. There's no limit. As long as you're breathing and having a good time, we're all good. Okay, guys, let's roll on to our backs. Our next movement is a hollow body extension. So let's roll on to our backs, please. While on your back, you're gonna draw your belly button towards your spine with your knees bent feet flat on the ground. Once your low back is pressed into the ground, you're going to maintain that position as you bring your knees up towards your chest and bring your elbows towards your knees, palms together. You're going to reach in opposite directions with the legs and feet and come right back to this knee elbow connection. Okay, so the low back is staying on the ground. Only take your legs as low as you can, but while maintaining the connection of the low back on the ground. 
You can always change this pattern to maybe a one arm, one leg position using opposite arm, opposite leg. You can do a arm or leg spread position. Remember, as soon as you find yourself in that box, get out, love yourself, accept yourself, and have fun every time. Twenty-five seconds left. Keep rocking this position. If you're hearing any thunking, cracking, or popping, I want to encourage you to dial down your movement just a little bit so that you can move in a range that's a little more user-friendly for your body. Come on, guys, get it. Okay, let's come up to a seated position, please. Our next movement is an inverted crawl bridge reach. So we're going to place our hands behind us. Okay, your fingers can be out to the sides or whatever position is comfortable. You're going to lift your pelvis off the ground. You're squeezing the back sides of your shoulders together. From here, you're going to take one hand off the ground and you're going to reach above your head, or you can reach across the body, or you can take it a little bit more in the opposite direction. Just make sure it's comfortable for you. And then let's lower down, switch sides. So again, I'm squeezing the backs of my shoulders together and lowering or depressing my shoulders along. So my scapula is coming down on my rib cage. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna reach and then come right back down switch sides so my hand is at my chest or wherever i like i can reach above my hips are coming up into the air and you can reach around again expressing different shoulder positions but the one of the most important parts of this movement is the supporting arm shoulder so what's happening in that supporting arm shoulder I want that to be stable. That's that's priority number one, because if you have a history of any shoulder injuries, this is a movement that you really want to pay attention to and develop in your movement practice. Okay. The last movement of this series is a side sit roll. So you're going to start in a side sit position. Post one hand in front post one hand behind and roll through the hips okay so i'm just posting one hand and rolling now i can always take that a step further once i roll i can come all the way into my knee hand crawl from my knee hand crawl i'm just going to drop my hips towards the side move through the side sit position side sit the other way knee hand crawl okay so i'm lowering my hips to the side nice gentle stretch to the quadratus lumborum internal external oblique rolling through the glutes side sit the other direction right back into knee hand crawl okay take your time nice and stable through the shoulders now we don't have to stay in that box remember there's always a million variations we're using a roll as the foundation of this pattern. So I can roll through my back. So I'm bringing myself into a nice fetal position and then slowly lowering myself to the ground. And then when I'm coming up, I can use that side sit to bring myself back to my knee hand crawl, whatever you like. If I wanna do a little bit more of, a, of an extension of the hip and roll that way, Okay. Whatever you like, make it yours. Okay, guys, back into our hollow body extension. So lay on your back, knees to elbow. Now remember that low back needs to be on the ground. Once it is, I can do an alternating knee elbow touch. I can do a bilateral extension 
And if this is too easy for you guys, there's one more variation. We could do a shin or a toe reach. Okay, if you want to do it alternating, it's another variation. If this is already enough, stick where you need to go. Let me see, I'm hearing some popping. I got to break it down a little bit, dial it down. There we go. Stable and strong through this movement pattern, guys. Make sure that you're breathing. Some more pop in there. I got to dial it back down. <laughs> Some more pop in. Oh. There we go. Whatever you like, fam. Make it you. Okay. Right back up into our seated position for our inverted call, crawl reaches. So we're in inverted crawl. Get a nice stable base of support. Squeeze the back side of the shoulders together. Spread those fingers wide. Take the pressure off of one hand. Reach it up over your head as you press up through the hips. Lower back down with control. There's always so many ways that we can mess with this movement pattern. <laughs> as long as you guys are having fun with it, that's all that matters. Oh man, sorry about that. Coming apart here. You're going to find that the more time you spend playing, the more your body is going to have an easier time showing you what it needs because the medicine lives in the dance of play. The more you play, I think Cindy even mentioned a book about playing. Perhaps she can throw it in the suggestion box chat box after our session today anyways the idea is play squeeze those shoulders get that nice quality movement every time okay guys go right into your roll side sit bring the leg forward knee hand crawl lower the hips down roll to the other side smooth and strong expansive through the shoulders making those uh, fingers spread wide as you place them on the ground breathe deeply and expansively really let that breath work relax the whole body starting to kind of dial it down just a little bit tune it down Breathing deeply and expansively the whole time. Perhaps you want to add one of those other rolls. Get yourself into a nice fetal position, rolling through the back, letting the ground massage your whole back. Take it very slow and enjoy the movement. Perhaps add a little crawling, a little looking, a little spinal mope. Remember when you find yourself in that box, break out of it as soon as you can. Smile, breathe, relax, repeat. <laughs> Smile, breathe, relax, repeat. 
Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and get into our rest and recovery. Um, we're going to start out on our backs and we're going to get into a happy baby pose. There's other names for this move or for this position. The happy baby sounds about right to me. That's what I want to be, happy baby. So you're on your back. You're going to lace. You're going to grab your big toe with your fingers. And you're just going to take your hips out to the side and rock from side to side. Massage the low back. Now you've seen a baby do this, but guess what? We were all a baby at one point physiologically. Spiritually, we're still a baby. So when you get into this pose, you can let yourself remember the fact and the truth that you still are a baby boy or baby girl. And anytime you come into this position, you can let yourself enjoy life and movement simultaneously. Give yourself a nice gentle rock from side to side. You don't have to stay in that position. You can add a little bit of straightening of the leg. So if you could get it all the way up there, get a nice gentle stretch, feel free. Let your body show you what it needs this morning. Enjoy yourself. Smile, breathe, relax, repeat. Smile, breathe, relax, repeat. Just notice your breath relaxing you down. From here, we're going to roll onto our stomachs. We're going to get into a knee hand crawl position. And we're going to use our child's pose cobra position as a transition. So we're going to lower our hips towards our, our hips back over our heels. We're going to bring our body weight forward into a gentle cobra pose. You're going to take your knees up off the ground. Feel free by contracting through the glutes. Squeeze through the hip flexors. Drop the hips back over the heels. Child's pose. And move in and out through this position, please. Add whatever little variations of spinal articulation that you need to really loosen any unnecessary tension out of the body as we start to cool down, wind down, and relax. You want to add to this one, make it a little bit more of a dynamic slowdown, feel free. Add a little hip hike, feel free. And add some spinal articulations through that child's pose and coming out of it, feel free. As you're moving through these movements, if there's points of the movement where you feel tight and restricted, breathe through it, relax, hang out there, and see if you can't relax even further. When you look up, imagine, even if you're inside, imagine a beautiful clear night sky, all the stars in the Milky Way above. Relax, pull your belly button towards the spine, squeezing through the hip flexors to drop you back into that nice, beautiful child's pose, opening up through the low back. You want to separate your knees a little bit further. Feel free, play around. Really give yourself an opportunity to explore these ranges of motion. Strong and stable. Take a moment to imagine all of your internal organs, beautiful, healthy, and strong and vibrant. Imagine you have an amazing ability to heal because you do. And that no matter what choices you've made, as soon as you get your mind back on board with what your body's already doing, which is healing, the faster your body is going to heal. A 
Okay, let's come into a cross sit position on our mat, please. So you got one and two. Long through the spine, wide through the shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. And as you breathe in, breathe out, imagine your breathing is going to the bottom of the pelvic bowl. Bathe that lumbar spine and even your sacrum with sensation and movement. Strong and powerful, yet relaxed and centered all at the same time. We got one more movement here where we're just going to reach into our environment, reaching the hands in front, taking the hands to the side, opening up the lateral rib cage, moving through the shoulder, allowing the hand to lead you towards the other side. Reach. Look. No matter what you feel in your body, if you feel good, give thanks. If you feel a little bit like, whoa, give thanks, because that's your body's way of saying, hey, we're doing something here. Get on board. We're doing some miracles here. Get on board. Slowly dialing down the breathing so that you can relax even further. Return to your upright position. Perhaps on your next breath, float those arms out to the side. Bring the arms above the head, palms come together. Float them down as you exhale. Let's do that one more time. Maybe one more. Three is nice. Okay, guys, we're coming to the end of our movement session. If you need to hang out here a little bit further and continue your meditation, feel free. If you're good to go and you got to get on with your day, feel free. I hope you guys enjoyed that movement session. You know I did. And you know one of the many reasons why I did is because you guys were here with me. So thank you so much for taking some time for yourself. For allowing yourself an opportunity to witness yourself. Ah, there it is. Dr. Stuart Brown, who's a neuro neuroscientist, wrote the book called The Importance of Play. Thank you, Cindy. Awesome. Dr. Stuart Brown, a neuroscientist, The Importance of Play. Get it. Um, play is just such an important part of our daily lives. And as we age physiologically sometimes we uh, don't do that so let's do it let's get it every time all day so smile a lot throughout the rest of your day guys breathe deeply exhale slow be the medicine that you want to see in the world and uh thank you cindy i will have a wonderful day um i'm already having a wonderful day why not continue right so thanks again, guys. Lots of love for all of you. And I'm going to post this video on my YouTube channel later, hopefully, if I get a chance. I am Daniel J. Moore. Make sure that you're a subscriber. <laughs> like the videos, comment on those videos, and that tweaks and, and works with the algorithms of YouTube so that more people get exposed to this idea of taking care of yourself. Lots of love, guys. Thank you for being with me today. And I hope to see you next Thursday, same time, same channel. Uh, you're welcome, Catherine. Thanks for playing back right back at you. See you guys later.